Everybody. Yes, there is more iOS 11. If you love iPad like I do, well, buckle up. For a, you're in for a wild ride. We are taking iOS to the next level. This is the largest iOS release for iPad we've ever done. Now, it starts with the dock. Now, we all know that dock hovering down there at the bottom of the screen. It is more powerful than ever. You can fill it with apps. On the right, there's a predictive area. Figures out what you're going to use next, including your continuity apps. And now you can summon the dock from anywhere, right from the bottom of the screen, and use it for switching apps just like that. And what's incredible is how it's used for multitasking. So now, if you're in an app and you swipe up, well, you can pull an app out just like that into slide over. Now, of course, you can snap your apps into split view, but what's really cool is the new app switcher because it preserves all of your spaces with your app pairings. It's really great. Now, the iPad, of course, is the ultimate multi-handed, multi-touch device, and so we're so excited to bring drag and drop to iPad. You can drag images, you can drag text, you can drag URLs, you can multi-select and multi-hand drag. It's a drag fest. Now, it's incredibly productive, but of course, sometimes you have to type, and so we made the keyboard even more productive as well. You can now flick on keys to access punctuation and numbers, all without switching planes. It's super fast and super easy. Now, we have a new app to introduce to you today, and it's called Files. <laughs> files brings together all your files on your iPad. It supports everything you'd expect, nested folders, spring loading, list view, favorites, search, tags, and it has this beautiful recents view that pulls it all together across all of your sources because it supports not only iCloud, it also supports third-party storage providers like Box, Dropbox, OneDrive, and Google Drive. And they're all right here in your sidebar. You know what? Let's do a demo. Let's take our first look at iOS 11 on iPad. So here we have our new dock at the bottom. Now I can easily drag right into the dock, just like this. It's a great way to launch apps, as always. But now it's also a great way to switch apps. Just tap like that. Now, if I want to multitask, check this out. Drag it out, it's right there. Now I can slide it off the screen. I can now slide it over here. Both these views are completely live. I can go into split view just like this, but I want you to check out the new app switcher. I'm just gonna swipe from up from the bottom and keep swiping. It goes back like that. Let's do that again, that is so great. It's that easy. Now you notice our, my spaces are preserved, so over here on the left I have mail and safari. In split view I can just tap those open like this. Let's try some drag and drop. So I'm going to drag a URL from the top of Safari here right into this mail message. Drag it and drop it. Now I can drag it. Yep. Let's drag an image. Yep, just like that. Now, I want to focus just on mail because I'm going to show you dragging across spaces. So let's go into photos. I have some uh, great photos here of some potential uh, drone protection options for the new campus. So I'm going to start a drag, but watch this. With my other hand, I'm going to tap. I can add to this selection just like that. And I can even swipe up with my other hand into multitasking, move over to mail, and drop. Now I want to show you files. I can bring up files, of course, right from the dock in split view, just like this. And it's a great way to deal with attachments, because I can take this attachment and this mail message, pick it up, and just drop it right into this folder of top secret projects. Now let's dive all the way in and take a closer look at the Files app. We see it has this 
uh, gorgeous grid view, but it also has a list view that provides me all the details about my files. I can sort them by size, or let's uh, sort by date. Now I can create new folders. Let's say I want to create an R and D folder right here. I'm going to take some of my top secret perspective projects, and I can do multi-select just like this, drop them in. Now I can also take the folder, drag it right in to my favorites, and these are synced across all of my devices. And if I want to tag a file, of course I just drag it right on there and make that one important. And you notice in addition to iCloud, here on the left I have access to all my cloud providers like Box. So you can see I have files here I'm using and folders that I'm using for collaboration. And that includes this drone defense proposal right here, uh, pr presentation. And I want to show you when I go into the recents view from the tab at the bottom, notice I get a view across everything including that one uh, inside a box. I'm going to tap into that keynote presentation and for my final act, I want to show you how I can use files directly from the dock. Just swipe up, if I tap and hold, I get access to my recent assets. I can just pick this up, drop it down just like that. And that is a quick demo of our productivity features on iPad. Now, next, I want to talk about Apple Pencil, because Apple Pencil has really created a whole new way of working on iPad, and with iOS 11, we've integrated it deeply into the system. Now, it starts with markup, because you can mark up anything you can quick look. You can take Safari content. We create it into a continuous scrolling view that you can mark up. And you can actually do this with any app that supports printing, because we have a create PDF option that will create a markup PDF. It's a really great way uh, to mark up anything and share it. And we know a lot of people do like to share with screenshots. And so now, when you take a screenshot, we'll create a thumbnail down on the bottom of the screen. If you tap it, you go instantly into markup. You can mark it up right there and share it. Now, we've all, it's really cool. Now, we've also integrated Pencil deeply into Notes. So if you're working on a note and later you're at the lock screen, you want to get back, just a tap of the pencil to the lock screen and you're right back into your note. And we've made your note handwritten text searchable. So we can now search handwriting. We use deep learning to recognize what you write. And if you're doing um, primarily typed notes, you can now also do inline, draw inline drawings right there. It's, it's very handy. Now, of course, sometimes we still have to deal with paper, so Notes now has a built-in document scanner. It can correct perspective and contrast. And when you bring the note in, you can mark it up right with your pencil. And we've integrated markup into mail as well, so you can personalize your mail messages with inline drawings. Now, for a look at all of these great new pencil features, I'd like to introduce the man who heads iPad software engineering for us, Toby Patterson, for a live demo. Toby. Good morning. Well, the first thing I want to show you is a quick way of getting to your notes using your Apple Pencil. You just tap on the lock screen like this, and it slides up to reveal your notes beneath it. Now, you can see here I've got a handwritten note. And I want to show you how easy it is to create one of these. Uh, watch at the top of the note here as I edit the title just by putting the pencil down and writing like this after the 2017 keynote. It's as natural as putting pencil to paper. Now, something paper can't help you with is finding your notes again later. We're using machine learning to recognize your handwriting and index it in Spotlight. Let's switch into Spotlight now, and we'll search for that text that I just wrote out. You can see here I've got the new Flick keyboard, which makes it really easy to enter numbers just by swiping down on the keys like this. And you can see there it's already found my note as a top hit, even with my atrocious handwriting. We'll just tap on that, and we're back at the note. Now, I'm going to switch to a different note now because I want to show you how you can mix drawing with type text and tables and all of Notes' other great features. This is a note that my young daughter shared with me as part of a school assignment where she had to work with her parents to develop an idea for a new app. 
Now, she asked me how many copies of our app I thought I might sell, uh, we might sell, and so I want to quickly draw a graph to give her some idea of that. I'm just going to press down here with the pencil to make some space for my drawing, and uh, we can take that little grabber and open up some more room. Now, I am really bad at drawing, but I just love doing it. And what's great about drawing on the iPad is it works the same way as it does with paper. And that means it's really easy for me to draw really badly right here. Watch, I'm just gonna put the pencil down and uh, just like that, zoop. It's so simple and I think you're gonna have a lot of fun rediscovering the joy of drawing. But uh, let's move on now. So my daughter's learned a few things from me about how Apple works and before I left this morning, she gave me an NDA to sign. <laughs> I'm gonna use the new document scanner and notes in my pencil to take care of that in a snap. We'll just tap the plus button here to bring up the document scanner, and all I need to do is point the camera at the piece of paper. Notes will take the picture automatically, even straighten the page up. We'll open it up full screen here, and now I just fill in the blanks with my pencil. And just like that, I've got a signed copy of the NDA saved away in my notes. Now, I see my daughter sent me a message, and it must be pretty important if she's interrupting my demo. So if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to tap on that and see what she has to say. Wow, an offer for $100 million is really pretty thrilling. I'm, I need to send this to my wife right away. I'm going to take a screenshot of this, and then we'll tap on the thumbnail here to open up our new screenshot editing UI. From here, I can crop it down to just the part of the image that I want to send. I can scribble a quick note with my pencil. And then I can bring up the share sheet to send it off to my wife right away. So these are just a few of the ways that you can use your pencil with your iPad in iOS 11. Back to you now, Craig. Thank you. <laughs>